This talk, uh, true to form to most of my talks, is completely unrehearsed, uh, except this time it's intentional. Although it's probably intentional most of the other times too, because I never have an intention of actually rehearsing these things. Um, but this time it's intentional because uh, I actually want to um, uh, be able to prove that this can be done on the fly. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, build a Yeoman application, or uh, essentially an Angular, uh, Angular JS application. So, who here has heard of Angular JS? So, good show of hands. Who's actually developed with Angular JS? Most of my former co-ops. <laughs> um, generally, um, you know, when you talk to people about uh, actually developing with um, you know, with a front-end framework or any JavaScript framework, um, that general idea when you're just kind of breaking into it is that, oh, uh, well, now I need a node backend and I need, I need to actually, you know, get a node server and I need to host this whole thing on a virtual private host. Oh my god. Um, so I set out to, to make this uh, repo. Um, just to kind of prove that you don't, uh, the idea being that um, PHP is ubiquitous. Um, it's everywhere, it's on every host out there. Um, every $2 a month hosting package has PHP on there. Um, everybody knows PHP or used to know PHP um, until Node came along. Now nobody knows PHP anymore. Um, but a lot of people tend to um, forget you know, uh, when you're using a front-end uh, service like uh, Backbone, Ember, um, Angular, uh, React, uh, they all need a back-end that goes with them, and it doesn't need to be JavaScript. You don't have to do full-stack JavaScript. I fully advocate full-stack JavaScript. I love full-stack JavaScript, um, but it doesn't have to be that way. Um, so I set out to uh, sort of disprove that myth. Um, by making this uh, Angular application um, that uses a uh, PHP CRUD um, backend on it. so And it's uh, partially integrated, but still more or less decoupled. Uh, my co-ops know me, they know I, I advocate decoupled architecture all the time. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, this, uh, this whole um, repo is dedicated to that. Um, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how it's done. So has anyone, uh, anyone, anyone familiar with PHP? Okay. So anybody who has developed with PHP, which is more than Angular, so that's good. Um, and that may be why uh, a lot of people are actually steering away from these front-end JavaScript frameworks, is they're kind of afraid, like, oh, this is great, there's a lot of neat things. SPAs, woo! Um, but uh, what do I wire them up to? Uh, so hopefully I can dispel some of those, uh, dispel some of those issues. So um, for the first part of this uh, repo, I've actually gone ahead. Uh, I actually already have a, a CARS database set up. So uh, we're going to ignore most of this, um, uh, you know, this sort of database uh, funkiness. If you if you want me to prove it, I can show you the database right here. <coughs> So I've got a cars database, demo cars. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And uh, I've got it's already pre-propagated with uh, a couple of my uh, a couple of the cars that I keep in the driveway. Maybe the last one. 
No, I'm not even the last one. Is there any? Yeah, Pontiac, Montana. I do own a Pontiac, Montana, 2004. That's about as accurate as this gets. Okay, so I have that uh, uh, table already set up, so we're going to skip past uh, most of that stuff there. So your sound effects for the video that's being recorded right now. Okay. Um, so anyone familiar with uh, Slim PHP? Okay. Slim PHP um, is kind of huge in the PHP world for uh, rapid prototyping um, just about anything in uh, PHP. So you've heard of Laravel and you've heard of uh, Cake and, and all those big, huge, uh, enormous PHP frameworks. Um, slim PHP is literally, like it says, it's slim and it's PHP. Um, it's about the quickest thing. If you go searching for any sort of CRUD uh, tutorial on PHP online, you're going to find most of them use slim PHP because it's just so easy to get up and running. Um, so we're going to be using Slim PHP and uh, AngularJS. Uh, um, we're going to use uh, the workflow tool called Yeoman to actually uh, um, to build our Angular uh, framework. Hello. Hi. Hi. Did I miss something? Yes. What is the app supposed to do? Nothing. The app will show you my list of cars, and it will allow you to add to those cars and take away from those cars and that's about it. First principles. Is that good? What? First principles. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is what we're, we're building an app um, to, to add to our dreams cars list. <clears throat> okay, so uh, first things first, I'm going to uh, set up our app uh, using Yeoman. Anyone familiar with Yeoman, aside from my co-ops? <laughs> Anyone else know of Yeoman? Okay, uh, Yeoman is a great workflow tool that uh, uh, helps automate the process of building uh, front-end applications. Um, uh, in particular, I'm going to be using it for Angular, but you can actually use it for Backbone apps. Um, you can use it for uh, web apps. Um, I think there's one for React, um, but it's a great little workflow tool. So uh, we'll go over here. I'll use my. Can everybody see that? Um, I knew somebody was going to ask me to do that. That wasn't too bad. Okay. I'll do this on the big screen. Okay. Uh, so with Yeoman. Uh, really, all you do is uh, yo Angular. Uh, I could give my app a name if I wanted to. Actually, why don't we do that? Uh, we'll call it WWM. WWM. Um, so Yeoman's going to go through. It's going to ask me uh, what I like to use SAS. I'm going to say no. Uh, do I want to use Bootstrap? I'm going to say yes. Um, do I want to include all of these uh, Angular uh, built-in directives? I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to go through and it's actually going to build uh, this entire application for me. As long as we don't get stuck. So what it's uh, doing is uh, it's using NPM. People familiar with NPM and Node? No? Okay. Well, anyway, it's, uh, it's uh, Yeoman actually runs on Node, so I know it's kind of counterintuitive. We're building a PHP application where we're using a Node server to serve the front end. I don't know. Anyway, um, so it's actually, we're using Node and the uh, Node package manager to download all of our dependencies that are going to help us build this front-end application. Uh, so it's going through and doing that, doing all its tasks and checks, and et cetera. Boom. Done. Uh, so all I have to do now is uh, grunt build. <coughs> Sorry about that. 
and like Auto Magic. Should open up a new browser window when it's done. Oh yeah, I just built it, didn't I? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom. There we go. So that took all of, uh, I don't know, like a minute. And uh, we built our very first SPA uh, Angular application. So, pretty nifty. Um, but we're not going to actually use uh, and actually use the uh, node side of things to actually build that. So, so we did that. We did that part of our application. Okay. We built our uh, web app. <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to. What am I gonna do now? Okay. I'm gonna open up the uh, generate git ignore. Oh, That's a good trick. Probably not needed for the demo. Actually, it's not needed for the demo at all. What am I doing? And. Uh, Make a route called cars. So doing things like views and routes and controllers and directives and all that kind of stuff in Yeoman is as easy as doing this. Um, you just give it the command you want to do. So when I did that, uh, when I did that uh, command, Yo Angular route cars, uh, it went ahead and built the uh, test suites for me. Uh, it built me a view, it built me a controller, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, so actually, I'll just show you what that actually generated for me. So I'll go back to run, serve. I should probably put this in another window. Uh, so if I'm to go to cars right now, I, right there, I've got my new view built in my SPA. Everybody familiar with what SPA is? Single page application. Okay, um, so this is a single page application. I don't actually have separate pages. This is all one page, and I'm Ajaxing in. Anyway, Google it if you want to learn more about an SPA. Um, okay. Okay, so I've done that. I got my route. Uh, so obviously, this route is uh, you know fairly nondescript and fairly. Uh, boring. It says this is the cars view. What we want to do is actually build uh, an application that's going to go out, it's going to fetch all the data from a database, uh, all those nifty cars that I don't own, uh, and it's going to display them on the page. But that's not exciting in and of itself. Um, an actual CRUD application, uh, create, read, update, and destroy, uh, would actually go and uh, create a new car for me if I wanted a new car. Uh, it would update a car for me if I wanted to update. Uh, it would read all the cars on my list, or read one car if I so chose, um, and it would also delete or destroy any car uh, that I wanted on my list. Um, so we've got a we've got the component of the front end application that is going to interact uh, with the API layer or the CRUD server, which is going to be our PHP, our Slim PHP uh, uh, API, uh, and then that's the Slim PHP API is actually going to control uh, what happens in the uh, database. Um, so we've done that. Um, we're going to install this uh, little beauty called uh, Grunt PHP. And again, we're using npm here, and we're using save dev because we're actually going to save this to our um, developer dependencies. Um, this is going to help us uh, later down the road because I don't want to use Node to actually run this application. I want to use PHP. Uh, and then I want to use Grunt. It's totally unrehearsed. You guys didn't know that. So I want to replace connect with PHP. Okay, so this is where we're getting the fun stuff. I'm going to go to them. Let's see what the lights are. Grunt file. Uh, these are all sort of semantics that don't really matter, uh, but not to this demo anymore. Um, but I'm going to replace this with 
What is Connect? Connect is the uh, node server um, that's actually going to run this thing. I'm just going to replace that with uh, PHP. And, oh, while well, we're in there, I'm going to add the API folder. I should just keep them open. Somebody remind me if this fails to go back to my Bower RC. Yeah. 